Okay, good morning. 31st of August. We're just here in a town called Balchi. This is at the uh, very western end of uh, of uh, Lake Isikul, or Isikul Lake. Uh, stayed in a hotel here, used by a lot of other cyclists. A lot of other cyclists that are doing the is, is, is a Silk Road race that's uh, starting in Bishkek, running for two weeks. So they're all racing around the mountains here. Who can do it in the fastest time? So they're all here. These are some of the people now that are actually dropped out of the competition so they realize that they can't make it to the finish on time so now they're just taking it steady back to to Bishkek. Um, so yeah so we had a quick chat with them and uh, now they're raced away and uh, we just packed away now and uh, I go to a town called Tamchi today it's only about 40 kilometers so quite an easy day really just riding around the lake so uh, and uh, luckily the sun is shining this morning the wind seems to have dropped so apparently this is a very windy town here in cold town so as we saw yesterday afternoon and evening oh incredible strong winds here but, uh, but now it all looks nice apparently it's uh, windy in the evening and a bit calmer in the morning so we'll see if we can get uh, to the next town before the wind picks up so okay we'll uh, leave here and get back on the road we're just cycling through the town of Balchi here and then we should be following the northern road around the lake so uh, let's uh, see what that looks like here we just found an ATM cash point here some money uh, last time we saw a cash point was actually oh we went to a money in Osh I think that was sort of Jalalabad probably the last place we could have done that so there's been nowhere at all in the mountains or anywhere in the villages. So uh, actually a uh, national national day today in Kyrgyzstan. A national day of the Kyrgyz Republic. Okay, you can see the a lake now in the distance. The road that the road that we're on is called the North Road here. Um, it's quite a distance from the lake. It's a bit of a shame, honestly. <laughs> see it that well. Um, the reason we're on this road is because the uh, Nomad Games they take place in the, in the northern towns here. That we're going to tomorrow. That's the reason we're taking the North Road. Although you may have chosen the southern. And that's why, but, uh, a bit later on maybe we'll get a bit closer to it and I can show you some nice mountains around here. The shores of Lake Isik, or Isikul as it's known here in Kyrgyzstan. It's quite uh, beautiful, really. So this behind me, this is Isikul, or Isikul Lake. It's the second highest alpine lake in the world. Uh, lies at 1,600 meters. The, the biggest in the world is actually in Peru. And Jamie knows that well. And that's where he's from. Which is uh, Lake Titicaca in Peru. That lies at 4,000 meters. But, uh, this lake is uh, quite special. It has uh, water flows in, but water doesn't flow out anywhere. There's no rivers to uh, exit the water here. It only exits, some people believe, by underground uh, waterways or mainly by evaporation. So, uh, yeah. This is Lake Isikul here. So, uh, 
Mainly the north is full of uh, resorts, Russian resorts uh, from the Russian days. But, uh, and the southern shore is more rural. And at the end of the lake there's a town called Karakor. Um, so yeah, and also uh, under the lake it's, uh, it's actually some ancient cities that's written, some ancient texts where there's written about cities that lie under the lake here. Uh, they've actually found evidence, archaeological evidence of these uh, cities now. So uh, yeah, an interesting place. Actually a uh, hot lake as well, well, not a hot lake, a warm lake. There's hot springs around the, the lake as well. Hopefully we'll see some of those, which keeps the waters warm. And also it's uh, quite saline, so there's a little bit of salt in it. So it, it never freezes in the winter, even though around here it's very cold in the winter. So, uh, oh yeah, there's also a Russian uh, army military base at the end of the lake on the eastern part, where they test uh, torpedoes and things like that that they've done. Also the Indians do the same. So uh, yeah, that's a few facts about uh, Lake Isik, Isikul Lake here. But, uh, we'll have some lunch here now and then uh, carry on riding around the lake. Even though it's a lake, it's so big it looks like uh, the sea. The last time we saw the sea and the beach was in Turkey. So that's really, really nice to see again. Yeah. Fantastic. There's been a lot of landmass in the way. Yeah. <laughs> and now. rest and by the, the lake there so a nice view of the mountains now they were covered in clouds earlier now we're, we're free of that so okay it's uh, about 10 kilometers to do them should be at a town where there's a hotel okay back up on the road here that was a really nice temperature down by the lake and also here now just perfect mid 20s I would guess really nice temperature Okay, let's uh, go through a few more towns. We should be in a town where there should be guest towns. Let's uh, see what that's like. We're just arriving now in the small village of Tamchi. And let's uh, see if we can find a guest house to stay in here. Whether they're all booked because of the Nomad Games, let's see. Okay, we just turned up here. Guest house Caravan Tamchi, it's called. Quite an authentic place. So, uh, so uh, we're just going to have a look down to the lake now, not far from the lake here. So, let's have a look at the beach here in Tamchi. See so what that looks like. Guest house Caravan Tamshi, where we're staying this evening. Oh. Up by the, from the beach down there, a the rural village with a nice little beach at the front. Okay, so that was the end of today. Quite a easy day, really, not much happening. We only did uh, about 45 kilometers and uh, stopped on the way and had a rest on a beach. So, uh, Compared to what we've been used to the past few weeks, that was a really easy day. Too easy, actually. And again, tired by just doing nothing. So, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had a, a nice look at uh, Isikul Lake here. So, uh, actually, quite nice. Blue water, clean water, looks like. Um, and yeah, now we're in a town called Tamchi, or a village, very rural village, staying in a guest house here. So, uh, yeah, that's okay. Just had uh, dinner with the family, 
So that's what you can do in these kind of guest houses. And uh, tomorrow we're moving on to a town called Cholpon Atta. Um, it's one of the main towns here. It's also the place where the Nomad Games will start, the opening ceremonies on Sunday. That will start from there. So, uh, But uh, you need to get tickets for that now. Here it's sold out, so we may not see that. But uh, we'll be there tomorrow, and we'll see. The uh, the Nomad Games, they take place in three or four different places around the lake here. So. And one of them is up in a, a gorge in a valley. It looks really nice. So maybe we'll go there. So, uh, but tomorrow, yeah, another easy day, I think, 40 kilometers, and then go to Chilpanata. That's about it, really. So, uh, okay. We'll see you on the bikes tomorrow. Okay, it looks like Jim is missing the tent, so he's built himself a camp. What is he doing in here? Welcome to the little, um, to my camp. Okay, first you can turn this off. And so you can turn it on. So this is my camp and it's very good and it's nice. Yeah, so this is the two day sleep and a good cushion here. And a big cushion. Yeah, so see you on the bikes tomorrow. And hope you will see our videos. And thank you for watching our video today. Bye bye. See you tomorrow.